Hello again. After my uh, epic voyage to the moon and back, I'm going to answer the other question that I get asked all the time, and is, where did I get all my stuffs? Now, in my original videos, most of my uh, extra stuff that I had sitting around were part of the Sunday Punch Pack. Now, uh, around, I don't know, October or whatever last year, he basically stopped developing it. The upgrade and uh, changes to Kerbal Space Program meant that the textures suddenly all started looking red. And so it kind of sat around until November when uh, somebody else picked it up and uh, merged it into another pack of parts which had become a little... Um, had had stopped being developed as well, and uh, rechristened and released the the Nova Punch Pack, which contains so much stuff you will uh, it will reinvigorate any uh, building plans you have. It has three modules here. You have an unoccupied uh, guidance system, even although at this time you still get to see the pilots presumably sitting nicely in a control room, freaking out. But uh, yeah, let's just start with a standard spacecraft. Oh yeah, let's load one. Um, one of the interesting things that it does have, so we have a bunch of, well, we have many uh, more rockets here. So you can see that we we start with a whole bunch of uh, reaction control so fuel tanks. We have many sizes of fuel tanks here. So you can uh, build really big rockets. You have longer parts. You have this tiny, tiny, tiny little uh, fuel tank and a tiny uh, rocket motor, uh, a lighter weight decoupler, an actual lander leg. So this thing is actually much more suited to landing on moons. Um, yeah, so you have these much larger rockets and you can build yourself, you know, rocket clusters. You have this ginormous, no, this isn't one. Somewhere in here there's a ginormous uh, here we go, a ginormous rocket system. So we could plug that on. For shits and giggles, we could just take this uh, big fuel tank here. Oh, that's not going to work. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, great, it's stuck to my mouse. Uh, well, let's, let's go back to new again, except... Uh, one of the things also that's added that's pretty cool is they have the escape tower, so you can use the modified parachute, and in front of that you can stick a coupler that's designed for the escape tower, and you set your symmetry up so that you have two of them, and you now have a fully functioning escape tower on the top. The, the real uh, extras actually come in the structural and aerodynamic. We now have four pages of structural parts that uh, um, can do adapt to all sorts of things. You have quad couplers, you have um, interesting new side couplers that are much skinnier. You have shrouds that you can cover your entire satellite with. So you can make a night, take your satellite and cover it completely in uh, an aerodynamic shroud to hide the, the sharp edges, so to speak. You have... Um, basically plates and a narrower narrowing and wind uh, widening adapters that is not the one i'm looking for let's yeah this is the one i think look so you can basically go straight into a wide fuel tank here drop this on let's is, if i got a bigger fuel tank i must it must be somewhere here i bet there's people out there screaming it's that one there we go let's put these big ass fuel tanks on What does this one look like? Ah, uh, that's not any bigger. Yeah, and then on the bottom, let's stick the stupidly big rockets. <laughs> because why not? So yeah, let's just check my stage sequencing here. Look, so one of the problems is the uh, the escape tower has gone and shifted itself to the bottom, which is a bad plan. We want it there. And we'll stick this, oh, we'll stick our actual main rockets down here. So that's how it's got a functioning system. Let's launch this sucker and see what happens. Ready? How bad can this be? Maximum thrust. Guidance locked. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> how inappropriate that looks. This thing basically sucks down fuel at a ridiculous rate. Uh, but it does have four rocket motors. So, oh yes. You know what? I've just realized that I usually steer with my left hand. And I am holding the microphone. So, 
that is an interesting experience that I am having right now. So, I mean, with all the different fuel tank sizes and variations on engines, I mean, none of the engines feel like they're cheating. You know, they all have trade-offs. There's a lot, the lighter ones have less thrust, which is, is good. Uh, there's a Nerva rocket, which is based on a nuclear power system. And it, it has pretty low thrust and heavy mass, but it has very, very high fuel efficiency. So it's great if you can get that thing into space, because then you can run your ship for a lot longer. But wow, this this thing may feel like it's cheating just a little, since I basically pushed this thing up to escape velocity with a very simple setup. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was my escape tower firing at the same time before I decoupled from the main rocket. Yeah, this isn't an escape trajectory. This ain't coming back, basically. Ah, <laughs> uh, such are the perils of rocketry. And flight. I mean, basically, the, the lot with the larger fuel tanks and engines, uh, the, none of them feel unfair. And but because you can use larger fuel tanks, uh, get more fuel, it does it does make the whole thing a lot easier, right? You can get you can build yourself a moon lander a whole lot easier. Here's the Carpolo lander that I built. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, you've got a, a first stage couple of SRBs. There's a rocket inside this. And then we've got a, a landing stage, which is fully capable of a landing and launching and returning to planet Earth. This this uh, booster is part of the descent stage as well. And it gets dropped, you know, just as we're about to land. Let's try launching this for fun. You can see that I've used the adapter plates and got everything up to size. Let's fire. Let's launch this thing before. Oh shoot! Yeah, I think my stage sequencing's a little broken. I. What happened there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yes, we finally have liftoff. That's pretty embarrassing. I don't know why people look to me for hints and tips, because clearly I can't play this game. Well, maybe I can land this. That, that, I might salvage some respect. If I could land this! Oh, dear! Oh, wait, right hand steering! Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> no, get off of there! Get off of there! <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> well, they survived. <laughs> so yeah, um, lesson is that if you're gonna make a video, you probably want to check your staging because, <laughs> um, well, the results may not be what you expect. Oh look, the rest of the rock is still standing over there. Yeah, you can see this is actually pretty. Uh, you know, although it has a tiny rocket in it, it. Uh, it's relatively fuel efficient, you know, but it's, it's only pushing a small mass. So you have a lot of loiter time. Uh, you know, the, the basically, I mean, if you look, if you do the math, the specific impulse of, of these engines, they're not out of whack with uh, other engines in the, in the game. So again, as I say, they're cool parts. This is the Nova Punch Pack, and uh, lots of fun to be had. You can build some truly epic uh, ships. And uh, yeah, you can actually build a lander which doesn't require a lot of babying. Um, it's not going to fly the thing for you, but uh, you are going to have a lot easier time building a viable moon rocket with, the, this, with this pack. So I mean, you know, um, respect to everybody involved with making this thing. Uh, it is my favorite pack, and I encourage everybody out there to uh, install these mods. See ya.